Orange Mega Down. For two. And again, just to be clear, these are personal safety alarms. And I'm gonna, I've got a microphone on, so you, you guys might want to cover your ears at home. There is a pin at the very top. You can actually hang this on your key ring. There is a, a key chain here, a little key ring here. So you can attach this to your key chain, uh, the, the car keys, the house key, what have you. There's a pin at the top, and when I pull on the chain, I'm going to pull up in just a moment, the alarm will sound. It's very loud, and then to shut it off, you're going to press down. So we're going to see me do. Are you guys ready? On one, and two, and three. You see that? Pretty loud, right? That's going to alert someone that you are in need. Press it down. Shuts off. All right? So it's that simple. Uh, maybe you hang it on your... There you go. Press it all the way down. Maybe you hang it on your belt loop. Uh, maybe the kiddos on their backpack, the zipper of their backpack. These are so necessary. And listen, it doesn't necessarily have uh, to be... Uh, you don't have to set the alarm... Uh, just if you're in danger from a perpetrator, maybe it's a dog. Uh, I live in a neighborhood where we have wolves and coyotes and mountain lions even. And so, you know, hey, I, I, I can't fight, fight a mountain lion, let me tell you that. Uh, your children at the park, the neighborhood park, on their way to school, on their way home. Uh, you know, I always tell this story, this was years ago, uh, a different neighborhood that I lived in back then. We were, uh, we were coming home, and a block away from home, we saw an older gentleman just laid flat out on the ground. And he had obviously fallen down. Uh, had he had a heart attack? I, I don't know. Had he tripped and fell? I don't know. Uh, but we stopped immediately. We called 911. We waited with him until the ambulance got there. And we made sure that he was transported. So I, I still don't know the story as to what, did he have a heart attack? Did he trip and fall? I don't know. But, and we also don't know how, how long he had been laying there. Uh, he was alert, though. So that led me to believe had he had something like this, you know, you know, uh, right here on his pocket, on the belt loop of his pocket, or maybe on his key uh, chain, uh, he could have just like that. And, and, and honestly, you guys, sometimes, sometimes it's about time, right? Sometimes it could be that one, two, three, four, five seconds that could really save a life. And so think about that, you guys. This is for everybody. And I hope that you never, ever, ever have to use it. But just think of all the things that we hear about on the news all of the time. Innocent victims, right? Uh, whether it be a dog attack or a perpetrator or what have you. Just think, what if they would have had something similar? All right, our producer is saying, Lolo Hunter, we don't have enough people on the phone lines to, stay, to stick around. So we're going to give you a few invisible seconds and we've got to move on. All right, we're getting off now. Uh, our producer says. So keep shopping those behind the scenes as we move forward.